Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and I want to make a quick screencast to document how to create a custom Google gadget. And the reason that I am doing this, and I'll just show this real quick, is um, on this school website we've got a header with all of these links, and I can't really figure out a, a, a slick and quick way to embed <clears throat> all of that content on a new blogger site that we are setting up. Uh, but I can create some text links and so what I want to do is I want to put uh, those links and, and see how it looks down up here at the top but I'd also like to do that at the bottom of the page and I'd like to make this available for other people in case they want to add the same gadget so or add that same feature and the benefit of this is if I make this a gadget I don't have to update every different page that uses it I can update it one time so what I've done is gone here to the Google gadgets API that's part of Google code and there's a link that says hosting through the Google Gadgets editor and so this is the link that you're going to want to look will look for and basically this has some sample code that you can use and then you can just save this as your own gadget so you're going to want to log in with your Google account and interestingly um, I can't log in with our Google Apps account for school I have to log in with my own because I guess the coding stuff isn't part of our Google Apps so you may have to log in with a custom um, Google account or just your own your personal account um, what I've done is I've used a simple HTML, um, actually blog editor called Mars Edit, to create these text links. And there's about, you know, seven or eight of these, I guess. And uh, these are just um, HTML code. This isn't anything that's super complicated. It's just the links that will go directly to these pages. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these links, and then I'm going to go back over here to my blog editor. And I'm going to replace where it says, Hello World. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to go ahead and paste in all that code that I want to have as my gadget. And so now I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to give this a new uh, name, and it's going to retain the .xml um, file name at the end. Um, so I'm going to um, call this um, Nav, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'll save that and now when I right click or control click right there in the corner on the Google Gadgets editor um, I say copy this link location that's going to actually copy the code for this gadget and it's going to let me insert that as a custom gadget on a blogger site or a Google site or somewhere else so I'm going to go ahead and copy this link location and then I'm going to go back to my page in blogger where I was editing my um, design, the page elements of my design. So this is in Blogger. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Add a Gadget and instead of Basics, Featured, or Most Popular, I'm going to select this link that says Add Your Own, Add by URL, and I'm going to paste in that long address and say Add by URL. So when I go ahead and add that, you can see that it's showing that HTML code and I'll probably go ahead and take off the um, title because I don't really want a title on this and then I need to probably know the page width of my um, site I'm gonna put in uh, I'll put in 650 I'm not exactly sure um, I might have to tweak that a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and save this and oh that's definitely not what I wanted I don't want it to be that tall um, I was thinking that was width uh, let's see let me try 50 and let's go ahead and save that and see what that looks like um, all right, and I'm going to go ahead and save the page, and now I'm going to go ahead and reload the page and see what that looks like. Oh, all right, well, oh, that's above where I want it to go. Well, let me just go ahead and fix this right now so you can kind of see how this will work. Um, it has added this gadget above what I want. I actually want that to be, um, I guess, uh, between those two elements. So I'm going to move my gadget down. <clears throat> So it's going to come second. Maybe I can. Huh. And now I'm going to edit the gadget. And what I actually want to do is reduce the amount of pixels. And so let's go to 20 and say that it's only going to be 20 high. And now we'll go ahead and reload our page. And that's looking a little bit better, but it's still not in the right spot. So anyway, I'm going to have to tweak this a little bit more. I don't want to make the screencast longer, but you can basically see that has inserted the gadget 
um, on this page and it's going to appear um, on every page that that I want it to go on. Um, I'll go ahead and just do this one more time. I'll go ahead and put this in at the footer. So I'm going to go down here to the footer. I'm going to say add a gadget, add your own, and again I'm going to paste that long address. I'm going to add by URL and now we'll just make that 20 pixels high. And we'll go ahead and save that gadget and when we save that whole page design and refresh, ha ha, look at that. So now I've got this as a, um, a set of links here below. If I scroll all the way to the bottom there, I've got my links there. So I hope that's helpful. That is creating a Google gadget. Again, you're going to want to go to the link that you'll find on the Google Code Gadgets API for hosting through the Google Gadgets Editor. You actually can save a Google gadget you know, code on another website, but it's nice that Google provides this. It's just text and it's free and you can uh, create a gadget like that, which you'll then be able to put on multiple pages. And then when you need to change it, you're going to go back to that same place. You'll click file open when you're logged in and you're going to see a list of the gadgets that you've created before and then you can change them. And by changing it in that one place, all the different pages that use that gadget will get the updated links or code or whatever you put on. Hope that's helpful. Bye. Hey, I've got to say one more thing I forgot to do in the screen recording, and that is if you want to make a navigational menu like I've done here for a Google site, and you want the link for the navigation to open in the entire page, you need to insert a target that is equal to underscore top. Now, there may be another way to do that, but you can see here on the screen that's what I've done in the actual HTML link, and I kind of figured that out by trial and error that you needed to put that in in order for those links to work. Otherwise, they open up just like within the frame of the gadget and the entire page doesn't change. So, hope that helps. Good luck.